The Loft, Brooklyn, McKibben. Hey. Hello, this is Omar from Italy, and as you can see, New York in the background. What's up, everybody? I've been uh, experiencing life at The Loft. Yeah, so I was lucky enough to be one of The Loft kids. I came to New York with my big suitcase. I just remember stepping into the loft and it was like being transported into a parallel universe. All those like, colors, the dance studio, that you could see the sky from those high windows. It was like a good place where you meet like people from all over the world. So for me it was like this bubble of of happiness but I still get like chills when I when I think about it. It was colorful and there were places to chill everywhere. It was just like it was very like community. We grew together. Yeah I mean we grew so much together there. There were some people chilling in this corner, some people chilling in the other corner, some people dancing in the background. There's just so much happening and so much good vibes. It was a big playground with people interacting in all sorts of ways. We had space to create our own dance studio. It was amazing because we were a lot of people and uh, we ex exchange. A good friend I met there, Tonton, shout out, Tatak. Salut tout le monde, Salut. Yeah. hi everyone. We didn't have a common language to communicate. My French wasn't on fleek and his English wasn't on fleek either. Uh, my travel in New York three years ago, where I uh, sat in this wonderful loft in McKibbin Street. This place gave us a lot of friends, but it also gave us uh, an understanding about different cultures, about like what it means to actually come together and create a community. It was really like a sort of an international checkpoint in our New York experience. So. It's the place like I felt in love. It's the place I learned to dance a lot. Uh, dancing, dancing, dancing. I was taking class at BDC in the same time. I was definitely learn more in the loft. Eating a lot, uh, sharing, playing cards. We danced, we partied, we laughed, we cried. Like sleeping like this. <laughs> in the small rooms upstairs. I mean, it was fun as well. We had a bunch of parties. The last party I had, and I was drinking something very green, flu green, and the day after, I don't really remember what I did. The neighbors was fun. The street is very arty. So it was a lot of parties there, and I would go there and have some food. Everybody would participate, and we would put some music and just dance our asses off. It was amazing dancers there. Like a summer camp, when uh, you go um, in a place you don't know with a lot of kids your age, but you don't really know. You end up a few few days, few weeks later. You made friends and friendship that last forever and you don't really feel like you want to come home. And there were so many people around and people from all over the world, different backgrounds, different languages, different, different everything. We used to call it Neverland. It was something crazy and magical uh, about the spirit and the people there. And it was like that every day. Every day. Like there were new people, there was something going on. I am always like talking first about the loft and then about New York, because it's something that goes like together for me. But there was never a dull moment. It was just perfect energy to be creative. Space to explore yourself in this loft. Tiny places to sleep and lots of open space to, to create. A lot of nice projects are born in this time because of this place. Yeah. Being surrounded with so many inspiring people opened my mind. I saw a broader picture of my art, my way of expressing. A really beautiful opportunity to be yourself. If I have to do it again, I will do it for sure because uh, it was a, a big experience. I think that when you experience something like this, um, it stays with you forever. Really, really grateful for this time. Shout out to the Love Kids, Bim Boom Bam, wherever you are in the world. The best experience in my life. I hope that soon we can organize something with someone that's been connecting the world, different artists all around the world. I think we need it. We need this. Hoping and wishing for a physical manifestation of the loft. And we hope that kind of places exist again everywhere. Everywhere we can. <laughs> Support this. Let's create this. 
and make it bigger than it was. Let's do it. Plein de bisous à tous.